Hey there, this is Fernando coming to you from my hometown here in Geelong in Australia with your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. And I'm here with my little helper, Isabella. Say hello. Hello. And just picked up Isabella from school, right? So she's helping me out today. Uh, and she's helping me just by showing her beautiful little face. Yeah. <laughs> so habits and goals. Uh, something that I'm sure... Uh, if you're in business, if you're in uh, direct sales, network marketing, you know all about, right? Uh, the uh, the never-ending struggle between a habit. How do we break your habits so that we can achieve our goals? <laughs> and um, one thing that I've been thinking about recently is I've uh, conducted some coaching calls. And uh, actually, it's really interesting because um, about a week ago, um, I was thinking about goals. And I had this feeling within myself that as I was looking at my own personal goals and helping people achieve their goals... I started to, to realize that there's going to be one goal that is the catalyst for other goals. It's like there's one goal that if you achieve that goal, it's like it propels you into action, into doing what you need to do to get the other goals. And, um, and it's interesting because recently I started reading a book that was recommended to me. Uh, it's called um, Brain... Um, this, I can't remember the exact word, <laughs> the name of the book, but it's... Um, it's a book on how to do speed reading, right? How to do, how to read faster, and I actually have it on my website. So you go and you, if you're looking for a good book to read on how to double your speed, uh, your speed of reading, you'll find that there. But as I was reading through, oh, that was loud. That's a helicopter behind me going off, right? That's what happens when you do Facebook Live. Anything can happen. Um, so I was reading in this book. It's talking about how um, when you have goals, there's always going to be a keystone goal. So they actually called it a keystone goal. And uh, here I'm thinking, you know, there's a catalyst. It's exactly the same thing, right? So you just go through your goals, and there's going to be one goal that inspires you, excites you, probably even scares you, that if you achieve that goal, it's going to um, help you take the steps to achieve the other ones, right? And then I was thinking about, well, if that's how it is with goals, what about habits? You know, I'm sure that uh, we all have habits that we wish we didn't have, that cost us or hold us back or um, at some level. And I started to think about, well, would the same thing be true for habits? And I thought, well, maybe it is because let's think about, let's just say weight. You want to lose some weight. I know I'm trying or working to lose some weight at the moment. And of course, you don't become overweight because of good habits, right? You become overweight because of bad habits. And I'm not a beer drinker myself necessarily, but I know people are. And I know that if you... Eat pizza, too much pizza, you're going to put on weight, right? Especially if you eat at the wrong time of day and you're not exercising and that sort of stuff. But then I thought, you know, you might decide that your goal is going to be to stop eating pizza, right? Every day or twice a week or whatever. And that's going to help you uh, achieve the goal of losing 10 pounds. But maybe that's the wrong focus because maybe the, the, the challenge is not the pizza. What you know within yourself is that when you eat, drink beer you want to eat pizza because pizza and beer go together for you. So maybe after work, instead of going out and having that one glass of beer or that drink with your mates or your friends or your colleagues, knowing that that's going to trigger that next habit, which is to eat the pizza, which is contributing towards you not losing any weight, then that's going to be a better way to approach it. So I want you to just consider that in this short message. Look at your goals that you set for yourself and identify which is the one that speaks to your heart as the primary goal that you know that if you nail that, it's going to help everything else. And then look at the habits that are not supporting you right now. Make a list of all those negative habits that are impacting you and determine which is the one that is a trigger for the other habits. Eliminate the trigger and you'll probably eliminate the other habits a lot easier. And the way you want to eliminate it, you can't just get rid of a goal. You have to replace it. Uh, because you know you don't just stop a uh, habit, so it's called a habit. Uh, so the way to stop a habit is you don't just get rid of it, you replace it. So think of everything has an opposite. So for every negative, there's a positive. So what's a habit that's not supporting you, and then what could you replace it with that could empower you and be that catalyst to take the actions that you need to achieve those goals? So I hope it's not too much of a tongue twister, not too much of a puzzle. I hope I was uh, clear enough for you, make sense with this. But I'm just passionate about helping you break through whatever's holding you back and taking the actions necessary to take your business to the next level. And uh, sometimes just knowing what it is that we have to focus on 
can make all the difference. There's a helicopter about to take off. So if you want to know more about this, um, and if you have any questions, just message me, uh, private message me, send me an email. Uh, head over to my page where I have a free gift for you just by entering your name and your email. You're going to get my seven-step formula that I use to attract people uh, internationally, online, on social media, from my kitchen table, as you see on this. So if you're trying to grow your business, that's definitely a resource. And there's many others on the website um, that you can take advantage of, including the book that I talked about, right? Um, so definitely connect with me. And if there's someone that you know needs to hear this message, absolutely go ahead and share it. Uh, or take it another step. Take the, take the learnings, that, that, what they mean to you. And then share, make a video of that. 60 seconds is all you need to get started. And do a video and speak to the person that you want to help. And doing that is going to help you build your brand, your authority, your posture online. Have people following you and connecting with you so that you can better serve the world. All right, with that, stay blessed and uh, we'll catch up real soon. Bye for now. Hang on, I'm going to let you just watch the helicopter take off here. I just switch the camera for you. There he goes. There's the helicopter. So there you have it, a little bit of motivation, inspiration, a little bit of scenery for you, uh, a little bit of adventure. Uh, stay blessed and we'll talk real soon. Bye for now.